Chapter 8, Turnouts. 8-1, the turnouts are designed for divert, uh, the, from, divert trains from one track to the another. The good train turnout maintenance is essential for the safe and efficient tr operation of trains. Major components of the turnout, switch frog green guardrails for the 8-figure eight 8-1 shows typical turnout various parts identification with the switch stand jam nut connection rod through the crib of the, num num uh, the, uh, the gauge, the number 1 switch rod for the front of the rail length with the number 3 switch rod in between the straight sh stock rail and with a curved closure rail to the switch the train from the straight closure rail um for so the curved stock curved stock rail so the heel the uh straight stock rail and the straight closure rail move through the frog and the pointed guard, front guard front frog and guard rail um to divert the track to the other side you switch the switch to the switch stand and the jam nut and the connection rod and the crib the curved structure rail with the with the curved closure rail line will pass over the frog and the heel and the flange ways of the frog and the length of the toe of the heel on the guard rail um the post the parts of the turnout the points of the connection switch the connection rod the number one switch rod the switch rod bolt the slide plates um the clips clip slot bolts um and switch clip, clip number switch two rod left handed switch point and the right handed switch point um with a with the point of the rail length to the royal rail length, the curved stock rail in between the switches um, switches between the stock rail brace and the straight stock rail um, from the healer feeler heel on the block to the curved closure rail to the straight closure rail. Eight three general requirements: all materials used within the limits of the turnout shall be be factory designed. Con Design constructed be proper type of the size be properly installed not flammable cut otherwise altered rail all should be used and limited to turnouts shall be same way to the section com compromised joints and not permitted with the limits of the of a turnout and the ties shall be the standard chapter five and the manual shall apply to the ties within the limits of the turnout chapter geometry turn to the track, track geometry should confirm the standards in chapter third twelve or sorry chapter twelve as well as those in chapter reversing tangent the recommendation of the tangent be between the frog and reverse curve past the frog not less than fifty feet of the length into the shown in figure 8-2. 8-2 reversing the tangent length with switch stands the placement of the reverse tangent of the frog and switch stand not less than no less than 50 feet in length. The switch stand and placement of the switch stand shall installed in the, within the switch and line of the normal main route and the connection rod, rod keeps the points enclosed with the pulling rather than pushing force in mo most of the cases the mean mean while mean well, the mean installing the standard diver diverging side of the turnout is shown in figure 8-2. When the guard throw is st standed in, the handle should be pointed towards the frog and the switch is lined in the normal main route. The clean lubrication adjustment of the switches and stands switch stands shall be cleaned and lubricated adjusted at least annually. 8-3 switches and stands the switches and stands should be inspected for the following defects. Switches defects that operate the gap greater than one-eighth of an inch between the switch point and the stock rail. Check for the points between both positions. Worn and chip switch points points paragraph 83 and 83 c and 8 figure 83 the point switch higher than the stock rail of the figure 83 d and 84 point rail beyond the taper of the lower stock of the rail c figure paragraph 383 d and 8 figure 84 Damage or missing switches stands limited in the latches switch point lock of the C figure 83E and in clusicular lows. Damage improperly st installed switch stands C figure 83F and 82G. The loose damage missing jump and not the switch stand end of the con connection rod C figure 83G. Bent damage loose binding improperly installed connection rods or switch rods and switching clips. C figure 83G. Loosening damage switch missing switches clip switch rods connection. Rod bolts, see paragraph 83H. Loose damage, missing heel bolts, cracked improper heel joint bars, heel failure, see A3I. Loose damage, missing rail braces, see AJ. Loosing damage, missing slide place, dirt and debris, building up the slide plates, missing cotter keys and switching rods, switch clip plates, debris and flange weight, debris, obstruction with the switch rods, connection rods 83K and 83G1. Um, 83 switch point contact. Con contour the original contour is a half inch with the worn of the contour from the six inch mo six inches um Typical plan elevation switch point of the drawn in the graduated rigors of the stock rail the as the stock rail stock rail guide um the stock rail and the switch point and the point of the rail is in the stock head of the elevations and the he heel bolts um a lot it's 8-4. You see the switch point elevations is section A8 of the A section A8 
A at the, at the point, the section BB at the, is the point, the point of the low rail lower than the stock rail, section CC at the end of the taper, and section DD at the point of the rail is higher than the stock rail, and section EE at the heel and point of the rail even with the stock rail. Switch point gap. If the switch can be thrown and locked even in either the direction of one eighth of an inch in the space between the switch point and the stock rail operations throughout the turnout shall not exceed 10 pounds per hour. The switch can be thrown and locked in each direction within one quarter of an inch space between the switch point and stock rail operations through and through that um, operations. Through the turnout should not exceed 10 miles an hour. If the switch cannot be locked either direction, one quarter of an inch space between the switch point and the stock rail operations of that side to the turnout should not be permitted. Switch points, switch points should not be restored, or switch points shall be restored and replaced if the point is chipped and broken and worn more than one half of an inch down and six inches between, back from the point of the metal flow shall be removed to ensure the proper enclosure of the switch point is worn damaged beyond the limits operation of the turnout shall not be exceed 10 miles an hour. Figure 8-4 shows the proper elevation switch points of the point rail with respect to the stock rail and one if the top of the surface of the switch point is higher than the top of the stock rail operation through the turnout shall not exceed 5 miles per hour. If the point of the rail is beyond the taper is lower than stock rail operations through the turnout shall not be permitted if the switch stand lever latches and point locks the switch stand lever latches or switch point locks it shall be installed on all switches the latches shall lock, locks are missing to image and insure, insecure otherwise inoperative operations through the turnout shall not exceed 10 miles an hour switch stand the switch stand shall fully secure to the head block ties to prevent the initial movement of the switch points whether the operation through the switch point results in visible lateral movement to the switch stands the output Opening the switch points from the point of the gap operations through the turnout shall not be permitted. Connection rods, switch rods, and switch clips, these parts of the shall be installed and maintained to allow the instructed motion with the switch is thrown in the rod end and the, and the clip shall not be connect uh, will, will shall not connect contact adjacent ties. The damaged parts shall be replaced and properly installed and shall be in adjusted. Washer similar spacer shall be not permitted permitted be between the switch clip and the switch joint. The connection of the rod, switch rods, and switch clips and securely fastened is damaged. The operating the turnout shall not be permitted. The jam nut of the stand, switch stands at the end of the connection rod shall not be kept to tight against the switch and the stand and the clevis. Whether the washer similar in the spacers between the clip and the switch points operation through the turnout shall not exceed 10 miles an hour. The connection rod bolts, switch rod bolts, and the clip rod bolts, connection rod bolts, and switch rod bolts shall be installed with the nut on top of the cotter key, and in the places the clip bolt shall be have the cotter keys and all its bolts shall be kept tight. The switch heels and the bolt fillers and the joint bars, the heel of the switch of the hand shall be secured with the supporting switch ties and solidly tamped, and inside of the joint of the bar nearest to the track center shall be gent in the bar of the area designed. If the heel bolt or any loose of the medicine or the heel otherwise not fully secure operations through the turnout shall not exceed five miles an hour. The rail braces are ex essentially provided the proper lateral support of the stock rails and the rail braces fully secured to the tie against the tie against um The outside of the stack rail on both sides of the turnout. Two, the set recommendation of the braces and install them. One of the tie one tie um it recommended that the rail braces installed on each side of the point of the switch within two ties of the sweets of the heel. If these are less than four bra four rail braces secured in the tie, the tied against the outside of the each stack of the rail operation through the turnout shall not exceed five miles an hour. Debris of the flangeway flangeway shall be kept clear of the debris, and any obstruction, including the ice and packed snow, shall be removed. The A4 to the frog point, the frog point shall be restored to the place of the point is chipped or broken and worn more than a half an inch below the original top surface is six inches back from the original point of the low. The C is the detailation detail of the the frog elevation of the six inch with a half an inch drop and one contour selection through one half of an inch put, shown through the surfacing where um, three eighths of an inch to three eighths of an inch and the side of the inner center where the frog the frog surfaces shall be restored to the place of the treaded surfaces worn more than three eighths of an inch below the original contour the guarding face of the self guarded frogs the rays of the guard face on the self guarded frog shall be worn not more than one worn three eighths of an inch. The guard facing the rail which should not be worn three eighths of an inch on each side of the allowable wearing of the guard face of the self guard frog. Repairing the self guard frog. If the repair is made by the self guarded frog with removing from the surface of the raised guard face and must be restored by for rebuilding the 
point, the frog bolts, all frog bullets should be placed in a tight flange weight width, stand flange, flange, flange weight, one seven eight eighth of an inch with an existing flange weight is less than the amount of the restriction of the table, eight one shall be applied. Measurements operating restriction of the frog guard rails, the frog flange weights width, the standard newly fully formed, one seven eighth of an inch to one eight seven, he flies uh, one seven eighth of an inch to, to operating restriction of 10 miles an hour if it's one limited to one five eighth of an inch or no operation if it's one and a half of an inch um, with, um, Depth of a the depth of uh, the frog in the guardrail. If the G, if the GE is uh, new and fully restored, one seven eighth of an inch operating restriction within one eighth of an inch, one half of an inch, and one uh, ten miles an hour. No operations a hundred between one half an inch and one thirty eighth of an inch. No operations. Guard check rail from the standard new really fully restored is 54 and 5 eighths of an inch guard check rail gauge um inches and limited to 54 and a half or sorry 54 and a quarter limited operation restriction 10 miles an hour limited to 5 and 54 and an eighth at no operations guard 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 face rates 52 and 3 quarters of an inch standard new fully restored 10 miles an hour 3 53 eighths of an inch and 53 10 miles an hour, no operation, 53 and a quarter inch. Guardrail flange weighs 1 7 and 8 of an inch, full new lean, fully short, operating restricting at level, at limited at 1 5, 58, 1 5 an inch, and 1 half an inch. GE is a greater than or equal to, LT is less than, and C, GT is greater than. Um, here you see the guard check face gauges and the guard face check gauges. Measure the point of the frog on the both sides of the turnout. Here's the frog, um, and view in from the guard face gauge the, and, and guard face check gauges. Um, flange weight, the standard frog flange weight of depth of one seven eighth of an inch when existing flange weight depth is that less than restriction of eight one table eight table eight one the shell applied. The eight five the guardrails guardrails should be placed in properly positioned, fully secured guardrails should be installed so that the straightening guard face of the, uh, the portion of the guardrail parallel to the running rail exceeds the advanced frog point distance at least if equal to the values that given in eight two the guard face check the gauge is the standard guard check uh, the gauge is 54 percent of their 54.652 um, inches. Um, whether the guard check of the measure is less than the amount of the restriction on the table eight one, the shall be established in eight figure uh, figure eight um, seven. Uh, here you see the frog number four through two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten at the length of fourteen inches, eleven, twelve, and ten at eighteen inches of frog length from the um, straight guarding face to the advantage advanced frog point. So you have your gauge, your your guard face check gauge from the guard inside of the rail, inside outside of the guard rail to the to the inner point of the until the touch of the frog, and then you have the guard face gauge, which is the Guard rail to the inner side, inside of the frog gauge, and your flange which and the flange which gauge. Um, the minimum length of the straight gauge guarding face um, advanced frog point four five six seven eight nine is fourteen inches. The eleven, twelve, and fourteen is eighteen inches. Fifteen and and 16 is 26 inches, and 18 to 20 is 30 inches. The guard face gauge, standard ga guard face gauge is 53 and 3 quarters of an inch, whether the guard face gauge measures more than the amount restriction in the table um, and sh shall be replied in figure 8, 7. Um, here you have your frog numbers in the lengths, um, and your guard face advanced frog to the frog point. Flange weight standard gauge with flange weight is 1 eighth of an inch, or sorry, 1 7 and 8 of an inch, one seven eighths of an inch of flange weight with the less amount of restriction to table eight one and shall be applied. Chapter nine railway crossings.